Today we're here at Chac Chobin in Costa Maya, Mexico. This is the first of the pyramids we're gonna be checking out today. Apparently there's uh, two other buildings buried inside of this one, which is really cool. Chac Chobin is located in Costa Maya, Mexico. Uh, this is the first of the structures we're checking out today. Uh, I guess this platform is for the ruler and the priests for uh, religious ceremonies. Uh, inside, reportedly, there are two additional structures. Um, so I guess the power here would pass from father to son. So when the ruler passed away, uh, his son would actually build the new temple on top of the old one, thereby making it taller and taller, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I guess in the back here is where the archaeologists have dug through to a few different walls, and it's kind of blocked off for that reason. There is two ways to make it up there. This is the easier way, and this is 13 steps. There is one of 31 steps, my friends, right? Who's gonna try it? Right, that's the 31 steps over there. Right on top of this big platform, there is going to be two different temples similar to the Temple 24. One is going to be to my right, and that is known as the Temple of the Moon. Then there is going to be another one on my left, and that is known as the Temple of the Sun. All right, so we're gonna take the 31 steps to the right. A little more uh, tricky, but you know, I came to have an adventure. Okay, this is steep. And mossy. Okay. These are big steps. I got little legs. Yeah, if you're short, bring a tall person with you to uh, hold your hand on these things. Okay, we're gonna make base camp here and uh, try in the morning. <sighs> All right, we made it. And there is the other uh, pyramid temple. Now our guide told us this one is called the Temple of the Sun. I guess the sun rises at a certain point, a certain time of year. It tells it when harvest is. Uh, March 21st. March 21st? September 21st. Yeah, September 21st, okay. Temple of the Sun. Just gotta ask your pagan wife. That's the moon. Temple of, yeah, Temple of the Moon's over there because they found pottery related to the moon. So that's how it got its name. Where did the mine? So something else to keep in mind is that these steps are not all the same height. So you gotta pay attention when you're walking up them so you don't trip and slip. Uh, they're also covered in moss, so watch out for that. Now we're gonna go check out the Temple of the Moon. Oh so I guess there's a monkey somewhere? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, right there. That's why everybody's over here. <laughs>
with other stones they didn't have metal tools right okay. after they have everything ready they brought it in their bag until they got here and look how many <laughs> there they used to do <laughs> Tarantulas in there. I'm not sure what's more beautiful is the jungle and the surroundings or the pyramids. It's simply gorgeous here. Definitely recommend checking this out. So, tarantulas, jaguars, tapirs, monkeys, deer. It's crazy. So, you're going to see ruins scattered throughout the site. A lot of places where you see just a big hill covered in vegetation, there's actually an old building under all that that cannot be excavated because the trees are holding the rocks in place. So while this place is cleared out for tourists, I mean, you were still in a jungle. <laughs> and we're hearing animals uh, in the trees. So it's good to stay in your group and not wander off like I am currently. But yeah, the guide was saying this is a part of the residential area. So these are some of the foundations and the upper buildings have since been you know, deteriorated or destroyed. Um, I guess a lot of the churches that are not far from here were built with stones taken from these foundations. <laughs> Welcome to Dad's Ventures, where we are exploring your mom's house. Your mom is very old, <laughs> so she lived in the Mayan roof. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was Chachoban Ruins in Costa Maya, Mexico. Uh, if you're taking a cruise here, a trip here, I definitely recommend checking this place out. It is great. Uh, the history is fantastic. The area is beautiful. You might see some monkeys like we did. Uh, so it's definitely worth the, the trip. It's about, a, about an hour ride from the port. Uh, not bad at all. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe. Until next time, keep having adventures. Yeah.